So what's motivating you? What is driving you? What is making you do the things that you do? We'll talk about this right now. There are two things that are driving you, two things that motivate you, two things that determine the, the way you dress, two things that determine how you look, how much money you make, your relationships, your friends. What are these two things that are driving pretty much everything you do? Number one, it is your values. And number two, it is your beliefs. Everybody has values. And when it comes to values, it is a hierarchy. Values is that you say, I, I value family or I value money because for you, money might mean freedom. Money equals freedom to me. What else could be a value? Love, right? Being loved or, or loving could be contribution, uh, giving back, right? Or, or charity work. One of your values could be safety and security. Some people think that safety and security means having a job. Having a job and having security is an illusion. Now, you know that I used to work for IBM and shortly before I left, IBM announced a merger with PricewaterhouseCoopers. During a merger, there's cost cutting. So I believe it was close to 5,000 jobs would be gone in the blink of an eye. Now, when I do my live events, I regularly talk to people who said, you know what? I was with the company for 30 years and then I got laid off just like this. I believe people who say, you know what? I don't want to be an entrepreneur. I don't want to trade. I don't want to invest in myself, in my education. I just want to have a job. Job security is an illusion. Another value for some people is working out and staying in shape, being healthy, right? The important thing is you must know your values. And here's why. When there's a conflict, the higher value wins. Now, we, we talked about it, uh, I think it was a few days ago, and there's probably another video that you find about it, about the, the, the five things that could be uh, values in your life, and it could be, for example, uh, family, friends, being healthy, right? Having a career or a thriving business. It was Randy Zuckerberg who said that she believes you can only focus on three. If, if you think about it, if you have all these different values, right? The highest value in your hierarchy that you have wins. Now, I will tell you my values. The first one is money. For me, money equals freedom. And this equals happiness. Money allows me to afford the things that I want to buy. It allows me to travel. It allows me to do whatever I want to do. So that's definitely one of my, my high values that I have. Another one is family, especially my kids. And, and you know this, if you have met me at any of our live events, I'll talk about what I want to have written on my tombstone. We are born on one date and then we die. And, and in between we have this dash that is representing your life. Here is what I want people to say about me. I want to say that I was a great dad and a great teacher. So Back to my values, money, definitely one. Family, especially kids, another one. And the third one, and this is where it goes back to what I want to have written on my tombstone is contribution. Absolutely. This is why I'm doing this video. This is why I'm doing the podcast. This is why I'm doing the live events because I am very fortunate. As you know, I made it. I am a multimillionaire and I believe for me it is time to give back. And this is why I love showing others of how I personally trade, how I invest in real estate and other things that I do. For me personally, values that are rather low on the hierarchy are security. <laughs> because if you know me, then you know that I'm the kind of a daredevil. Not, not really in a sense of that I'm jumping off roofs, but you see, I jump out of a plane and, and build the parachute on the way down, if you know what I mean, right? So <laughs> for me, it's not super important to have a, a job security where I have a paycheck every month. I mean, if this would be important to me, I would still work for IBM, right? Also, what is not high on my value hierarchy is, for example, working out. 
Now, there are some people, as you know, who are just gym rats, right? I mean, they get up in the morning and they go to a gym. Uh, otherwise, they don't feel good about themselves. That's not me. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong. It's just important that you know your values because they govern what you do. The other thing that uh, influences what you do and who you are is your beliefs. Now, here's the important thing. What you believe to be true is true for you. If you believe that making money is hard, you will make it hard to make money. If uh, you choose to lose some weight, but then you tell yourself, I'm, I'm big boned or I have a slow metabolism, then it will be difficult to lose weight. Now, let's turn this around in a positive way because I believe in being positive. You know that about me. Making money is easy. That's what I believe. Otherwise, obviously, I wouldn't be trading. I wouldn't invest in real estate. I wouldn't run a business. So this is one of the things that I believe. One of my core beliefs is it can be simple. And this is why the trading methods that I use are simple. A third belief that I have is that I am, how do I call this? Not, not a multimillionaire. I am a hundred million millionaire. And, and honestly, for me, that is a limiting belief deep in my core. I know that it is possible for me to make a hundred million dollars in my lifetime. Now, you might be wondering why when I say that I can make a billion dollars. Well, again, this is right now one of my limiting beliefs. I don't think that I can become a billionaire and hey, I might prove myself wrong. These beliefs are pretty powerful and I, I hope that you have these powerful beliefs. And it might be that right now that your first belief is that I am a millionaire and that is good. That's how I started at first. I mean, when I had very little money, I said, I am a millionaire. I know that I can make a million dollars. That was my belief. Then I made a million dollars and I said, okay, I am a multimillionaire. And then I made a few million dollars. And now I'm saying I will make a hundred million dollars in my lifetime. Anyhow, the two things that are motivating everybody are your values and your beliefs. Therefore, it is really important that maybe right now, take a few minutes and write down what are your values and what are your beliefs. If you want, leave it right now in the comments, which are some of the values that are really high on your hierarchy of values and what are some values that are rather low? Also, what are your beliefs? What do you, what do you believe with every fiber inside you that you can do. Write this down in the comments. I'm just curious. If you believe that anybody could benefit from what you just heard and you want to share this, feel free to do this. Take care and you have a great day. Click on like and leave a comment and let me know what you think. And make sure to subscribe to this channel to get new videos automatically.